and he told me he uh which is feel like i something i should probably invest but he got one of the oculus i don't know which version he got but like so you can play beat saber because i know beat saber is like a really really good game that like keeps you active and it keeps you moving yeah beat um, saber is pretty pretty good workout definitely good for the cardio i know what a lot of people have been doing that haven't been able to get their hands on ring fit adventure i've been getting like the just dance games and then doing that yeah that's good i actually i actually just bought another Oh, thank you, Arrow Lifted, for the Twitch Prime stuff. 23 months, almost a full year, but... Um, two years. Yeah, almost, yeah, t- oh, yeah, two years, almost two years. Sorry. But you lose check of time when you're in quarantine, I'll tell you that. <laughs> everything I just, just kind of blends together, huh? Yeah, everything does. Everything feels... It doesn't feel like time is dated. It's like time is just one continuous strip. It's never-ending. But, um... What I was gonna say is, I actually just bought a skateboard, so I just tell people like I'm just gonna go late night skating, um, whenever I can at nighttime, oh. and just go for like. The, the That's night cool that you can do that. Like I know in my area, like if I get, if I'm outside after a certain time, I get like questioned. <laughs> Shoot, really? Yeah. <laughs> And I live next to the police station too, so. Well, see, I was gonna say <laughs> I think I think that's fair because like, I know your area is very well protected. <laughs> because it's like Disneyland and all that, uh, and it's like right there. But yeah, I totally feel you. I think growing up as a kid, I lived in a gated community. But right, like once you pass my gates, like within like ten steps, you got to the ghetto, and I could not be outside like that area. I had to make sure I stayed within the gated community. Wait, 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 wait. what's going on? Cytonics got DQ'd. What? Ooh. Oh, I was looking forward to Ken. Oh well. That, PK, that hurts. Our PK beta and Mariguas. From the looks of it, yeah, he was unfortunately unable to come in time for his queue up on online. Unfortunate. I know a lot of, uh, I know it can be difficult, but definitely always feel too free to reach out to one of us on Twitter and hit us up and ask us questions like, hey, when are we starting or are we starting it? And well, I'm more than uh, many of us will be happy to help out. Yeah. There we go, Mariguas. Of course, you know, Mariguas, uh, haven't really seen him on stream since like our first MSM online, where he yeah, performed very actually. well. Uh, performing with Palutena, still rocking it. And of course, we have PK Beta, who is a Doc main. I was looking forward to seeing a little bit earlier, but unfortunately, just did wasn't in the cards. Yeah, such is the life of online. I mean, sometimes you feel like you'd stay in winners, but you end up in losers, or you get knocked out, and it happens. Speaking of knockout, Doc has power. Like you see, just the damage he's able to pull out. That's one of the. That's the big trait for like Doc, right? He's, he's such a powerhouse when it comes to knockback and raw damage. But his biggest like shortcoming is, of course, coming back from the stage. Honestly, he feels like him and Little Mac feel like they're in the same being. Like such a big power and threat to deal with. Except maybe Doc a little bit more because he can actually hit you in the air and do decent in the air. But like once they're off stage, it is really, really difficult for the characters to actually try to make a comeback unless they, you know, within that realm of space of recovery. Right, here we go. Here's some dark combos getting caught up in those frame traps, directional air dodging. Uh, it's going to put you in a good amount of lag and still allow Doc to continue his approach. Oh, up smash at the ledge, looking for the roll from Mariguas. Mariguas did not give it to him. Yeah, definitely. I think that's one thing like Mariguas is trying to be really, really cautious and self-aware. Like, he did lose the stock first, so he's definitely giving PK Bay a little bit more respect. I still like the attempt there at side special simply because like if Mari- if PK Beta tries to go for anything over Zealous, coming back on the stage, he will have to worry about um, explosive flame. I think enough, like we rarely see Doc live up to these high percents. I mean PK Beta just lost the stock, but that was at two hundred and six percent. Yeah, I think a lot of it is like what it comes to what we talked about like earlier on stream was like the fact that there are matchup inexperiences because more or less people are more attuned to the ditto or the meta matchups and when they finally get faced with a character like that's off meta like Doc, it seems to like, you know, it can be a struggle to, to deal with. Down throw into up air. No. Doc's up air is not going to be uh, able to combo out of it. Yeah, that's one of the things about Doc. Back, 
He's definitely very much like Mario with the remix of combos, basically. Like, that's the one thing that he has for him. It's like, remix of combos, different knockback. But definitely, you can treat him almost like Mario. And if you know how to fight Mario, you can kind of fight Doc someone in that same vein. Mario with a bad recovery. Yeah, basically. The Mario wish you wish you could always fight. <laughs> nice, good patience there coming out from Odigos. Doesn't really want to be overzealous. Goes for the easy ledge jump. I have to give it to him, like, he's, like I said. Just wanted to be really cautious. Didn't want to give it up all at once. That was like, that was the call that Marigua's needed to make. Now, putting uh, PK Beta up into the air, making it really difficult to land. Yeah, I think that's the name of the game here, is once you get Mario in the air, make it difficult for him to land and give him a lot of trouble. So to speak, just juggle Mario as much as possible. Nice, yeah, honestly, able to get through. Marigua, I'm, I'm looking out for these pills because already a couple times we've seen PK Beta able to convert off them and like convert hard. I mean, I'm not talking about just like one single up there. I'm talking like uh, a back air at the ledge that can lead to death. Yeah, I think the one thing I'm noticing from PK Beta a few times is he's either doing, he's very, really well aware with pills. He will either advance with them. He does one of three things, right? Like either he advances, stays stationary, or backs away with them. And it's really good for him to like know. Like in that situation, he's backing away with pills so that if Bayonetta, I'm sorry, if um, Palutena does come towards him, Palutena has to worry about defending against Pills, contesting with Pill, and that might give PK Beta an ability to actually just get in with maybe a neutral air or, like you saw earlier, on conversion. The PK that... Beta uses the cape too, especially if falling and he sees that the explosive flame is going to hit him. Just throws out the quick cape, continues his descent, at the same time, like, nullifies explosive flame. Yeah. I, I saw that up smash for a couple, like, seconds earlier. I know it's long and gone now. We're on two minutes of the clock. Seeing as how much time has passed, but man, that O Smash has some range that I definitely want to say like you have to respect Doctor Mario, especially when you're coming up from the ledge. Good forward throw for Modiguas and a great conversion into the explosive flame. No tech on the platform. Really good self awareness of how forward throw was going to send it at that 45 degree angle at that percent. Good stuff. That PK Beta opted to hold in and land on the platform, which which I kind of respect. In that sense, like, uh, simply because, like, you don't want to be sent off the stage, right? And you don't want to have to fight, like, against another explosive flame. But, like, you kind of can't have your cake and eat it, too, in that situation. Because the way that Marigos was playing was he always had explosive flame out there somewhere in the stage for him to use. That's true. It's still good stuff, though. Like, I, I have to really give it to PK Beta. That doc was able to, like, it's one of the... I don't think Doc is necessarily the worst character, you know, in my opinion. I think my my opinion on this this game's tier list is like, you know, there are no such thing as quote unquote low tiers, maybe just one or two characters. But every character, in my opinion, is viable to a sense. And I think seeing a character like Doc who struggles against this matchup pretty much bring it to last Doc, last hit is really, really interesting to see. And that goes to show in PK Beta skill. Smith's a Doc's kill power. Hey, we haven't really seen PK Beta really uh, abuse the the up B kill power yet, um, and that's probably because Marigas isn't like doing putting much pressure onto PK Beta's shield with aerials, which I don't expect him to. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, Marigas continues to play like a this this distance game with PK Beta, I'm gonna. It's gonna nullify a lot of the the power that that Doc has. Yeah, most definitely. Like uh, it's as long as he's always like making sure he's around Doc, or consistently like trying to stop Doc before he goes for like some of his favorite moves, he should be fine. Back air gets get sniped with the pill. Wow. Double jump, empty hop to tornado. That's a mix up. The death throw of Bar back air. Once again, I think that was one of the moves that like people asked, was it nerfed? Was it changed? It was changed. The angle doesn't work as much at, uh, as out of the percentage as it used to, so. Moves that? 
uh, down throw raw back air. It was a, oh, so down throw. The knockback was changed at higher percents, so it isn't like an always consistent like con confirm anymore at higher percents. I was gonna say that was an overzealous push in from UK Beta. Like he went for Pill and then Marigos had already been long gone from that situation. And he was trying to go for like pillow grab. The good flurry of attacks from Mariguas, forcing PK Bay to expend all his resources and recover high, but Doc doesn't have the best drift in the game, so uh kinda just fell into the down smash. Nair out of shield is gonna be such a pesky move for PK Beta to deal with. I feel like one of those things where like he has to really be careful what he goes for like a non-safe shield option or if he goes for like a poor cross-up timing because like narrative shield is going to give him so much damage. He either has to go for like a mix-up, like, like a short hop mix-up, an empty hop, a double jump mix-up, or a full cross-up to try to like bait out something from Muddy Gloss. Such as an air out of shield, and then punish him for with something like back air. Really, that attack could be really unsafe, but able to put an explosive flame out, getting a trade. Once again, Muddy Gloss, pretty good here at the ledge, plays it safe. Really good use of just trying to make sure he can close that gap from that distance he is. Goes off the deep end for the neutral air, closes that one too. I think I really like that play we saw from Muddy Gloss. Like he had that really good distance. Closed out the gap, saw that PK Beta wanted to come in hot, and then immediately punished accordingly. Good Mick, good, good option. Down throw up air. That was pretty much kill kill throw at that point. Yeah. It was just from uh PK Beta able to put out some good pressure just using his movement. Dashed in. Mighty Guas thought that uh saw the aggressive movements, went for a ledge attack, put the dash back, the dash back in. It's gonna clean up a sock. Okay, dashing back again. Both players retreating to neutral. You can see Mariko's throwing out these these invulnerable moves. It's like he's trying to trying to cast PK Beta, push the button. That's not really good too, because like the one thing that you want with Palatina is like you said, right, in the invulnerable moves, you wanna like use that back air, even though it's gonna get sailed. We haven't really seen Marigo try to kill with back air, so it's fine for him. But it's also really good for him to like try to contest one of Mario one of Dr. Mario's aerials, such as neutral air back air, which are really, really strong, uh, to contest with something like, you know, Palatina's back air or dash attack. It's facing out forward air correctly, so that uh, if it does connect clean. on to PK Beta Shield, you know, he's not at grab range, and yes, that was a clean down smash. Yeah, a lot of conditioning there in the situation, something that PK Beta had already been scared of. Like, he knows what this ledge situation had been for the past two times, and then Mariguas just pretty much put it in the usual pen, paper, and pencil, put it on the test, and you'll pass, and you get the 2 0 over PK Beta, allowing him to advance further in the loser's side. This is going to put him up against. Sky Baka 289 on that side of the bracket, and the winner of this will fight Tony Z Tank. Unfortunately, we saw, as uh, Z5 mentioned earlier, Cytonix was DQ'd, did not make it in time for his pool checkup. So we do have Gaia winning, waiting in there in losers' semifinals. Pretty much, it's a straight run into grand finals now. Yeah. If uh, Mariguas is able to make it to grand finals, then he'll be here the entire time. Literally king of the hill, it's just winner stays. Winner, winner, winner stays on is the ultimate king of the hill. Uh, well, it is the king of the hill of like, the online games. I think that's something that I've seen in the official... I think like Capcom hosts something like that on their official YouTube. It's like a little tournament they do called Winner Stays On. Cool. See, so Shy Baka two eight nine looks like a Zelda player. 
Uh, probably from... I haven't really seen... Just based off the match history. Looks yeah, like yeah, yeah, from the match player. history. Shybaka had to 